Hella, you are of German origin, but you lived all your life as a Romanian citizen in, in Romania. To what degree are our views um, influenced by um, national stereotypes? I, I don't believe in uh, special Romanian or special German or special British ways of doing something. I, I, I believe in standards and rules. Every time I'm asking for uh, order and discipline, uh, my colleagues tell me, oh yes, you are a German, of course, sure. <laughs> what are the things you are concerned about would have to improve? Behavior. Behavior. Rules. Order. Law. <laughs> 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 the so-called uh, the kleine Klokultur and it's a very very big uh, gap between IT and the kleine Klokultur. The most interesting point is uh, to accept all these contradictions and to, to live with the contradictions and even with all the new uh, uh, advertising uh, stuff that covers architecture and buildings uh, this is what makes it so interesting that uh, it's like a, a new layer adding to the many old ones. I don't believe in planning, so uh, there were. It was interesting how uh, unsuccessful planning was, and uh, the city is telling many uh, stories about unachieved planning ideas. And uh, I think it's interesting to see the contradiction and the complexity of these uh, different uh, planning uh, starts that never came to an end, are, are overwhelmed by the next influence. And uh, this makes the, the story, uh, the, the city interesting. Oh, uh, you are both planners, aren't you, in a way? <laughs> yes, but perhaps it is this a big question and so I want to, in this moment I quote uh, who is who plans the planning so I think this question is very important so and uh, when you think about this uh, hier hierarchical situations about planning so then how you define this planning so if you do it in a way that somebody other does so you take this pattern and you put it on a, on a, on, on a, on a society and I think we have around the world a lot of plannings uh, or planners who plan something that perhaps there's a big question how to do it. And I think to, that uh, to, to give a re recipe, I think that's so, that's so, as in my opinion, it's false. A question from uh, yes. Lucius Burkhardt, who is planning the planning? Mm -hmm. And we still think that democracy could plan planning. But I think this is, a, is an illusion, and uh, I don't know the state of democracy here, and, and how uh, people could plan the planning. And I think it's uh, interesting to see how regimes or uh, influences uh, were planning the planning, and. It seems just to happen, and I think this is what uh, we will we'll see also in in Western city, outside the centers, in the suburbs, and in the growing cities that are just flowing over the landscape. Principles uh, of uh, traffic here, or how you behave in traffic, it's uh, there are signs and traffic lights, but you ignore them. It's important to be uh, to watch out every minute. And this kind of deregulated traffic, these signs don't mean anything here. You park where you want and you go where you want. And uh, this principle is on an experimental. Uh, Stadium in the EU. There's a new project in several countries 
trying to introduce uh, intersections without traffic light and signs so that every member or participant of traffic has to deal with the other one and to yeah to 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 see who will go first when we can learn something from Romania mm. this is one point you did you drive here yeah I, dri I drive every day so I no but I mean to, to the interview how, how was parking yeah I had an argument with somebody uh, living uh, next to you and he wanted to have his uh, parking spot uh, and I parked there and he said that's his parking uh, spot and I said, oh, well, it's not a written rule, and um, so uh, why? And he got quite angry, and he said, oh, you will see what happens to your car, and so I prefer to move it. So you moved it? Yes, I moved it. So there we go, mediation. <laughs> I think uh, in the next uh, years uh, we'll try to present internationally some artists that will deal with uh, with Bucharest issues and Romanian issues mostly on actual living in Bucharest, what is actual living in Bucharest and uh, and with also with some national issues, nationalistic issues mostly. Mm -hmm. The young generation uh, are not interested in, in learning from the Romanian past, are interested in learning from the, from the Western present and uh, also from the Romanian uh, present. So they are dealing with this and um, I hope with, uh, with the help of a growing community there will be a, a very interesting generation of artists. What would you see that that the Romania has to offer to the West in terms of models that that could be transferred, copied. Everybody said, okay, we have to go to the West and we have to go to the same steps. But um, one simple thing is that in the 90s we had like, um, I don't know, up to 50,000 cars and uh, 15 years later we have uh, some millions and uh, in the West there was no such boom of, of cars, of vehicles in, a, in some city, in cities uh, and there are a lot of these kind of stories so I think um, if we can document and understand for ourselves this, this phenomenon and the and deal with it, probably this would be the most interesting experience we can offer for the West.